Hi everyone, today we're going to learn on how to translate mathematical expression or algebraic expression into word phrase or verbal phrase. First, what is mathematical expression? When we say mathematical expression, it is simply defined as the combination of variable, letter, operation, and number or constant. In mathematics, there are four fundamental operations, and these are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So today, we're going to use this four fundamental operation to express an algebraic expression. First, let us have to do the addition. When you hear the word addition, the keyword is sum. So let us say we have n plus 5. So the symbol plus means addition. So in translating it in a word phrase, we simply use the word sum. In short, we have the sum of a number and 5. Observe that we use in general the word of a number. So since it is a mathematical expression, whatever the variable you are going to use, we can stand it or we can term it as a number. So here, we have different uh, terms for addition. We can also use the word the total. So the total of a number and 5. We can also use the word increase by. A number increased by 5. We can also use the word symbol plus. A number plus 5. We can also use the word added by. A number added by 5. But if we're going to use the word more than, we're going to change the order of the addends for the pattern. Example, instead of starting with the sum of a number, we're going to start it by 5. So, 5 more than a number. So, it means 5 more than a number for the sum. Now, how about in subtraction? like this so when we hear the word subtraction we can use the keyword difference so let us put it here the difference between this is and a number and five or 5. Remember, in addition, the order of the addends does not affect the result. In subtraction, the order of the minuend and subtraend will affect the difference. So, be careful in using the difference. So, by the order of the variable, operation, and constant, we're going to use this pattern. The difference between a number and 5 aside from the word difference we can also use the word diminish in what way a number diminish by 5 we can also use the word decrease by a number decrease by 5 we can also use the word less a number less 5 and we can also use the word take away a number take away by 5 but if we're going to use the word less than the order of the minuend and subtraend will change in short we're going to use 5 as the minuend in such a way 5 is less than a number which means n minus 5 okay so how about 5n So, we can use the word, the product. So, the product of 5 and a number. And a number. 
Okay. We can also use the word times. Five times a number. We can also use the word multiply by. So, or multiply. A number multiply or five multiply by a number. Okay. So, here, glass is five divided by n. Okay. So, here, the key term for division is quotient. So, we're going to use the word quotient. The quotient of 5 and a number. Okay. Why I put it in this way? Because the order of the dividend and the divisor follow follows the order meaning to say 5 is the dividend and n is the divisor in short we're going to put in this way 5 and then a number so these are the basic steps in translating a mathematical expression into word phrase or verbal phrase